Hey guys, welcome back to the math office. Today's topic is going to be isosceles triangles, so let's get right to it. An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has at least two of its sides congruent to each other. Let's take a look at our diagram here. We have a triangle, and this side is congruent to this side, so that makes it an isosceles triangle. We also have a theorem. The isosceles triangle theorem says that if a triangle is isosceles, then its base angles are congruent to each other. Let me show you how that looks in a diagram. So this angle and this angle. So the base angles in an isosceles triangle have their vertices at the endpoints of the third side. Okay? So that's how this looks in a diagram. That's our definition, and we have a theorem. Uh, let's do a quick example problem to illustrate how to use these things. All right, we have an example problem here on the board. We have an isosceles triangle, and the two congruent sides are 5x and 50. Uh, we also have our two base angles marked, 7x and 14y. Now, we're going to have to solve for x first before we can get y. So let's do that first. Uh, we can say that 5x is equal to 50 because the two sides are congruent to each other. So let's write that over here. 5x equals 50. Then we just got to do some simple algebra. Divide both sides by 5. Cancel out on the left. 50 divided by 5 is 10. Okay, so x is equal to 10. Now that we know that x is 10, we can figure out what y is. Let's plug x in right here at 7x. So 7 times 10 would equal 70. Okay, so we know that 7x is equal to 70. Now, 7x is also going to equal 14y because of the isosceles triangle theorem. The two base angles are congruent. So 14y also equals 70. Let's write that down. 14y equals 70. And then we just have to divide both sides by 14. Fourteen cancels out. Y equals five. All right. So there you go. X equals ten and Y equals five. So there's a quick example problem using the isosceles triangle theorem and some algebra. Uh, that's about all there is to isosceles triangles. So thanks for stopping by the math office, and I will see you again soon.